My name is Akkad Sani from South Sudan and my dream is to play professional football anywhere in the world. I left home with empty hands and a bag full of dreams and ambitions to become a professional footballer. Is it going to be easy? Of course not, but it is definitely worth it in the end. I have chosen to put my life into this and there is no going back till I achieve my dream because dreams are meant to be lived. Where there's a will, there is always a way. Welcome to my journey. This is the road to pro contract. Okay, from English. Do you have any diseases? No. Uh, are you taking any medication? No. This is the sound, um, this is an estimation of velocity through sound, it's the Doppler effect of the blood going through your aortic valve. So it's, this is a, a notion of how much it opens, what's the size of the aortic valve area. Can you define it as a What? Can you define some drugs in my heart? No. <laughs> Okay. 
chest with this paper. Sonny. Muito boa noite, Alberroa! Sejam então bem-vindos às tradicionais festas de verão de Albernoa 2024. Como presidente do clube, quero agradecer a todos os 50 patrocinadores que tornaram tudo isto possível. Como sabem, a nossa principal função é a prática desportiva, mas também olhamos sempre para a parte cultural. E é nisso que nos temos também focado e os nossos pensamentos em investir futuramente vão passar também por aí. Construímos um cartaz quanto a nós, nos permite trazer mais pessoas ao Bruno. E conseguimos este cartaz, felizmente, porque todos juntos, os 50, conseguimos reunir verba para quando abríssemos aquela porta, ninguém estivesse preocupado com a dinheiro é falta para pagar aos artistas. Estão todos pagos graças a vocês. Muito obrigado. Informo também, porque já está a circular nas redes sociais, que amanhã há uma alteração no artista. O baile é com o Song Time e o espetáculo de Jorge Belchior foi cancelado por motivos de saúde, mas vem um artista que é o Diego Calé, que se vem apresentar a Albornoa, ele que é da editora espacial. O próximo momento que se segue é aquele que todos vocês aguardam. Ela está muito contente por estar cá na nossa freguesia. Penso que está muito contente também por vos ter aí em baixo, porque é ela a principal razão de estarem aí. Mas antes disso, temos um grande momento. Para nós, enquanto clube, é um momento muito importante. Chegar ao Bruno atletas de outros países é cada vez mais um, um compromisso que nós temos para aquilo que acreditamos que o clube tem que passar à frente. Com o relevado sintético, com a criação de escalões de formação, o passo será apostar cada vez mais em pessoas de qualidade e de compromisso. Não são os de Beja que têm mais compromisso que os do Brasil, mas são os do Brasil que são melhores que os de Beja. Quem trabalhar com esta equipe e com esta direção tem que ter compromisso. E é nisso que estamos focados. Antes de passarmos a esse momento, quero pedir a todos vocês que cheguem para a frente, porque logo de seguida vamos ter aqui um grande espetáculo com a Tânia, mas quero, antes disso, que recebam também, como nós recebemos de coração aberto, estas duas pessoas que não são apenas jogadores do clube, são a partir desta semana habitantes de Albernoa, que trabalham na nossa freguesia e estão aqui para ser, tal e qual como todos nós, pessoas que amem Albernoa. Só assim faz sentido cada vez mais trazer pessoas de outras paragens. Aproximem-se do palco e vamos apresentar um jogador do Sudão do Sul que vem de uma sede de cavaleiros, o Sonny Garang. O nosso Sonny. Sonny, está feliz em Albernoa ou não? Sim. Diga lá esta gente toda que é o seu chefe e que é a pessoa que eu tenho carinhado sempre. Como é que se chama o seu chefe? André, graças ao André nos tem ajudado e é mais um conterrâneo nosso por vezes aprovou-se muito o amor que tem à nossa terra mas de forma discreta nos tem ajudado ele não quis subir ao palco ele está aqui, ele sabe quem é e peço um forte aplauso para o Alberto, para o Alberto é que nos ajudou obrigado Alberto o próximo jogador conquistou uma à primeira vista ele é do Brasil, jogava na Associação de Futebol do Porto. Para todos vocês, o Ruan. O Ruan chegou hoje ao Bernó e a partir de segunda-feira começará a envergar as nossas cores. Ruan, o que é que os nossos adeptos podem chegar dessa magia que tu me vendeste, digamos assim? Estou feliz e motivado. Feliz e motivado e confiante na subida de divisão. É isso mesmo, é subida de divisão, é o nosso objetivo. So this is actually the bag that has all the team is equipment and I'm gonna open it and show you guys what is inside or the equipment for the team that inside here. So let's go, let's go open it. Yeah. So I think this is the this is the wear during our match days, especially when it's hot. The polo it's looks alright. And the short is good too, the pockets are deep. 
Miss uh, manufactured by Miss Yun. So let me see. Yeah. FC Albano and Albano So this is what it looks like. Let me try the other ones. This is not so much so cool with it. I think this is on a rainy day. This is for the rainy days. It's raining. This is when it's cold. So, so these are all the materials that we got. These two shirts, no, three shirts, uh, pants, two pants, uh, a jacket, and a raincoat plus the the bag. So yeah. Hey yo guys, it's your boy Sunny right here. Uh, so today, just coming to give you guys the announcement. Uh, you probably, some of you have already seen on my social media that I've signed for the new team for the 2024-25 season. Uh, the team is FC Albanonens and it's in the Beja district. It's still in the district hall, uh, second district hall actually. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what we're gonna be playing for this season. I did not know that I was actually going to be in position to play this season or even uh, at the beginning of the season because of my situation and I was always thinking I might just miss the first round of the season because first of all I didn't have the residency and, uh, and when I left Basedo I only came to Lisbon to find a job and finding a job meant that I was going to stop playing as I knew it was very difficult for a team to sign without residency it was going to be very expensive and um, it was a very lengthy process and I knew most of the teams that I was looking to get into uh, were always not going to be in position to do that, especially Lisbon, a place that was crowded with so many players of my quality, they could not even be able to do that. Even when the teams I was talking to, most I would ask them, like, find me a job, that was the only thing I was asking them. However, uh, out of blue, uh, somebody just reached out to me on Facebook. Actually, let me tell you guys how this, uh, the club came about, how I got into this club. It's not Mimba because as you guys have seen, I did an interview with Mimba Sports uh, uh, Management, the football agent. And uh, some of you guys were thinking, oh, it's Mimba that got me the deal. Of course not. But he was a little, I just told him about it when I was talking to him uh, what, during, during the interview because I was still talking with the club. And I told Mimba about it. I was like, yo, man, there's this club that's talking to me and stuff like this. He's like, yeah, I mean, that's a good one. Take up the shot, go down lower because at the end of the day, what you're looking for is first to legalize your documents and everything in between. So when that happened, uh, I moved on here. But how did the deal come about? <clears throat> so uh, tried to find a job online. I was applying. I did maybe three or four interviews for jobs, and uh, from McDonald's to pastelleries and everything you could imagine. Every day I've sent out maybe over a thousand emails in that course. But uh, nothing was uh, fruitful in all those in their hand. And then one day I was just like, you know what? I was on Facebook and I was like, you know what? 
I think the best thing is their Facebook groups. How about I just post my video, how I did, just talk about myself a little bit and try to give a brief history about myself. Somebody might find it interesting, of course, or somebody might want to have a look at me. And uh, I just made this template. It's not a template, but I just wrote this note. I am the coach Sunny, and this is my age. I'm from Salzburg, and I had to state my condition. I'm like, I'm looking for a club and a job. And I pasted them a highlight video, my zero zero, my transfer market. And I just every every uh, Facebook group about football, especially the digital football. I was going there and I was pasting the video. I was pasting the video. I was pasting the video. And uh, yeah, actually, I was surprised by the kind of response I got because there were a lot of people that were reaching out to me, and I was like, oh, my video was actually quite interesting. And of course, they were like at the lower level somewhere outside uh, Lisbon. Most of them were outside Lisbon. There were some within Lisbon, and uh, the first one of the first club, one of the other first club that made something very serious was the club in the Visa region. Uh, the guy reached out to me and we were talking about contracts. He was like, "Yeah, we're gonna give you a two-year contract, and uh, we're gonna find you a construction job, and we're gonna pay for your first month of the house. But then after that, you have to find, you have to start paying the house when you start to work." And uh, I was like, well, that sounds interesting because that was what I even needed, <clears throat> you know. So I was like, yeah, no problem, man. I'm I'm down for it. Let's let's go. And he's like, yeah, give me a day or two, and then uh, we're gonna talk to the president and we'll get back to you. A day or two goes by, says nothing. I tried to reach out to him, try to do a follow up. He's always busy. He's always this. He's always that. And he gave me this hope that yeah, everything was ready. The job was there, and the house was gonna be provided. I was like, I would stay maybe like a, a, a caravan, small caravan for the first month, of course. Uh, and then, um, yeah. So when I, when I realized that it was making me feel like I was chasing him, I just pulled back and I was like, just still, still went about my day. Went back again, just posting more videos. I was getting a lot of people like, yeah, calm down for trials. And I was like, man, I need a job. That's the first thing before I even want to come for a trial, get me a job because most of them were like, yeah, come down. But these are the same district level that I know I can go there and I will pass. But they might not find it. They might not even try to help me in my situation. And then one day, uh, I think this is like two p.m. Somebody sent a message. Not even it wasn't. It was a, not even a direct message. It went on message request. So the message was there for like a day or two. And I opened my message because there are other messages that were coming from there. Because in Facebook, if you're not friends with somebody, it goes direct to message request. And I opened it, this guy has just sent me his WhatsApp number. It's like, send me a message on the WhatsApp number. And I went to check it out his profile. There was nothing really like too much about football, football like that. And I was like, man, this is just another time wasted. But you know what? Let's give it a try. It took me two hours to send a message after I got down the number. And then I went to went back to WhatsApp, I sent him a number, and then we started talking. And within the space of one week, Everything was already done. It's like, yeah, we like you. You're the president. Uh, this is the president of the club. It's like, yeah, we've seen your videos. We like you. Uh, I've shown your videos to the court, and we want you down here. And within like two, three days, I was added to the team's WhatsApp group before even getting done and before signing anything. And I was like, okay. And uh, yeah, it's like, yeah, listen, uh, we have a job for you, but now we need to find a house. Then they found a house and it's like, now we need to find, uh, what do you call it? We need to find the transportation. And like I said, it took almost, it just took about a week for everything to be done. And when I got down here, I, I didn't want to leave without uh, the work contract, but it's like, calm down, man, because I was very hesitant. And it's like, no, calm down. We, there's no way they could lie to me. And uh, yeah, I got down and everything just moved so fast and everything has been great so far and uh, did the first medical and then the second one today which means everything is perfect and now we are all set to go the registration part that one they are going to take care of it they know exactly my situation and they know exactly what i need and uh that's just that everything just happened so fast and it's a very small uh, town but again the people are really have a very good heart and they are very welcoming so i'm really going to enjoy my time here uh, there is a festival happening and they had to introduce us on stage after there was some performance happening. Uh, me and one other Brazilian, there's another Brazilian, he just arrived yesterday and we were all introduced up. So the club is like counting on 
it's like they're counting on me to like get their season going and probably the other Brazilian guy as well, the two of us. And they're really like counting to make sure that <coughs> um, we make whatever they're planning for this season a success. So it's just very interesting to see how it's going to go this season. And uh, our first training is tomorrow. The first team, the, the first training with the club is tomorrow. And everybody's actually trying to see what can Sunny do because there's it's like a hype, but not a hype. It's, yeah, and let, me, let me just say, put it that way. There's, there's a lot of hype around. Yeah, Sunny is coming. He's the, one of the people that is coming from outside. The club has got him a house and this. So everyone is trying to see what can actually this guy do. And I'm like, the pressure is, is getting worse up, my people. Yeah, but uh, <clears throat> that's, that's, that's what's happening on that side. So now we're just looking to start the first preseason game. It's over the weekend, uh, next weekend. And I cannot wait to see what, uh, what my teammates are like. Of course, already they have been so good in, from just the talks. But now let's, let's get into the action. Unfortunately, I haven't trained for like two weeks. It's not too bad. I, I don't know, just a week and I'll be back to shape, I think. I think. And uh, yeah, we're going to play also another friendly game with Portmines, the B team, which is like what I'm looking forward to. I'm trying to get excited. I'm really excited to see uh, how, it, how, that, how that will turn out. Probably one of the biggest teams that I will be playing against uh, during my time here. It's not the first team, but the B team, which is also still a good team, you know. So, yeah, guys. So, finally, out of the face of free agency. And this happened when I least expected it. I would lost hope. I did not think it was going to happen. But, as I say, when you least expect it, that's when the things happen. So, at this point, but then again, it's about being proactive. I was proactive. I put in some, I put in work, honestly. I was always in the room, I was always in my house in Lisbon, but I was always in the room, but I was making sure I was sending out emails, I was just researching about what I wanted to do. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, so to all of you that are out there, give up, uh, just find something else to do with your lives. They don't, they don't motivate people, they don't tell people to do better. If you want to do better, do better. If you don't want, that one is up to you. So. Just give up, give up. We are many. We are many that are chasing this this journey. We cannot all succeed. That's the fact. So, give up. I said it. Give up. Anyway, if you like the video, if you like the content, if you don't like the content, I don't say your papa. Now you serve it that way. So if you like, subscribe. If you like, don't subscribe. If you like, don't like the video. If you like, like the video. All in all, you watch the video. Now, it's free. Why are you not going ahead to do what I am asking you to do? If you don't subscribe, why are you? You are, and you are that. So, it's been me, your boy, Sunny. Until then, ciao.